never showed you guys what I did with the fish. So today, I'll make a video showing you the purpose of buying that fish. Even though I eat it by itself, it uh, they make a dish out of it with uh, coconut rice, coconut, and the fish. So first process, and Melissa's gonna make it. I'm just peeling the uh, peeling the uh, coconut. So yeah, the first process is uh, taking all the hair off the coconut. I don't know where she done went to. I can't get no help today. Where they're from? Maybe the Pacific Coast, I'm not sure. But the water's just regular coconut water, just sweet. Full of potassium and everything else you need. So I will be saving this water to drink later on. Okay, so got it split down so now I just got to take it out the shell. I'm going to do all that and then I'm going to turn it over to Melissa. So let me finish doing that. So, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I got all the uh, all the coconut peel. Y'all can see me. <laughs> let me turn the camera a little bit more. So got all the uh, coconut peel. So now she is... Um, what? Bueno, yo voy a hablar español. I'm going to speak Spanish because I don't speak English. <laughs> it's obviously. Okay. Wow, but she said that in English. Somebody's lying. But, okay. Esto es un toyo. Es como, es como un, un tiburón pequeño. Toyo, it's like a shark, a small shark. Um, and they make fillets, they smoke it and dry it. It's frozen, it was in the freezer, but it just looks like smoke. Smoked uh, fish. Y está ahumado. Yeah, Aquí está smoked. ahumado. Entonces lo que voy a hacer es partirlo, ponerlo en un agua, uh, un agua que está hirviendo, dejarlo un ratito allí. So Mientras voy cocinando, voy a picar la cebolla, el tomate, la hierbita y todo lo que, lo que se necesita. Esto es un piscán. Vamos a hacer un piscán de tollo no sé y piscán. arroz con coco. Es una comida muy típica del chocolate. Oh, okay. So, piscán es just the name of what she was saying. She's going to cut it up. Put it in some hot boiling water, soften it up. Uh, meanwhile, she's gonna be cutting up the uh, herbs, tomatoes, all that good stuff. Uh, so that's it. And it has, like it looks like regular fish, but it has like the texture of shark. Like you know how you go against, like almost like a cat's tongue. Like it's really, you can hear it. Like it's really rough. Like it's a real shark. And this is part of the tail right here. So yeah. And she's gonna put the coconut in uh, the bullet, in like a little blender bullet deal. Chop that up and yeah. Give us some more. Give us, give us. But you said that we were going to do a little different. The arroz. Ah, okay. So yeah, normally when you do when you make coconut rice, the rice comes out like a brown, a brown color. The one she's gonna make is not gonna be just really brown. But when I tell you, still, it still got that same good taste. Y'all gonna see? We're gonna get the smell of vision going on. All you gotta do is just scratch the screen, take a sniff. Yeah, all in your face. Bueno, ahorita voy a picar los ingredientes para hacer el tollo. Voy a dejarlo todo picadito. So she's going to explain the ingredients now, y'all. Mm. Well, tenemos. Tenemos. Yo yes. <laughs> no. Cebolla. Uh, white onions. Tomatoes. Tomates, tomatoes. Garlic. Garlic. Lemon. And yeah. Well, for us, limes. Slime. Well, lime. Okay. Sí. Y cebolla y lemon. 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 Green onions. Green onions. Green onions. Mm -hmm. Y por supuesto un poquitico de hierbita, ¿cómo dicen ustedes al cilantro? Parsley. 
Uh, it's parsley or? No, it's a cilantro. No, it's ah, a cilantro. Yeah, cilantro. Yeah. Looks like parsley, so I thought it was parsley. Okay, so she just got through cutting up the onions, getting ready to cut up the tomatoes. Sí, vamos a cortar todos los vegetales para luego sofreírlos un poquito. Luego tomamos este pescado, pescado, pescado y lo vamos a desmechar. Okay, so she's getting ready to cut up all the vegetables. She's gonna fry them, cook them down a little bit, and then after that, she when the when the uh, shark is a little bit softer once it boils a little bit she's gonna take that and shred it and shred it up and i don't know the next the next uh stage so hey, otra cosita. El piscan tiene, tiene sí, sí, Ahorita le quitamos la piel y también tiene una, una tirita como de, de esqueleto al hueso. Uh -huh. También hay que quitarle eso. Esas dos cosas nomás. Y ya no tiene nada de espinas ni nada, sino que solamente lo tomamos, lo desmechamos. So she was saying with it being shark, you got it, you can't cook the skin. You, well, you, I don't think you can eat the skin, but anyhow, she's saying you can't eat the skin, so that's part of the purpose too of heating it up because she's gonna peel off the skin and it still has a part of the spine on it that she has to take off. So gonna skin it, take the spine off, shred it up, and vamos a cocinarlo con el arroz o con los vegetales. Solo con los vegetales. Pero no es que son es dos cosas diferentes. Yo primero hago el piscán normal, sin es, con los vegetales normal. Y el arroz es aparte. Ah, okay. So she's gonna no, cook. No, the, no, no se mezcla. Sí, sí, sí. So she's gonna cook the um, the fish and the vegetables together, and then the rice. That's a separate thing. She cooks the rice separate. And I guess that's where the part where uh, where the coconut comes in, because she was explaining to me she has to put this in the blender, blend it down real good. So we'll get to that part, y'all. Calm down. Hey. Okay, so she's already cooked down the fish or the shark, I should say. Bam, got that going. Got the vegetables. Uh, yeah, green onions, tomatoes, regular onions, garlic. And then we got the cilantro. What's that? No, hello. Okay. Eso no se llama huevitos con esta yorbita. Oh, se llama rico también. Ok, con huevos. Huevitos, huevitos revueltos. It tastes good with uh, scrambled eggs. Chop that up. I tell y'all the smell is coming like that's coming off this shark. It's smoked, so you can imagine whatever wood they smoked it with, it's in the air. Man, I love my life. Mm -hmm. So, when she's saying she is from Choco, which is on the Pacific coast of Colombia, you're not cooking if you not add color to your food. Everything is based on what the food looks like. Like, I know a lot of Americans, before we eat something, we're gonna, we're gonna smell it. It's not, what is the word? Um, you know, man, we talk better not to do that, but some people like to smell their food or they base how the food is going to taste on what it smells like. On the coast where she's from, everything is based on what it looks like. So if it doesn't have a lot of color in it and it doesn't look appetizing, I don't care what it smells like or what it tastes like. When I go too much eat it, it's, they got to be presented with color. So saying that, she always adds some kind of color to the food. Estados Unidos es más basado en cómo, cómo huele la comida. 
sí. Acá sí. también, pero si la comida tiene que verse bonita. Para nosotros no. Pues tiene sí, que pero. Verse bonita, atractiva. Nunca vamos pero a acá color. decimos que todo entra por los ojos. Todo entra por los ojos. Pues para nosotros, pues para mí, es mi nariz. Si huele bien, pues. Sí. Tendrá un, un buen sabor. No me importa. Okay, mira, cebolla me está haciendo llorar. Uh oh. Yeah, ah, no, no, no. Voy a utilizar un poquito de coco. Voy a licuarlo para sacar el zumo del coco. No me estoy viendo. Ah, uh, so she's saying she's going to echarle allí. She's going to put the uh, coconut in the blender. Take out a little bit of the uh, coconut juice. El zumo. El zumo de coco. That's a palabra that. That's a word that. I don't think I learned until I got down here. I always knew the word hugo, hugo, hugo. Pero sumo, sumo is another word for juice. You might hear sumo de limón, sumo de naranja. It's just another word for uh, for juice. So, yeah, we're ready to go with the coconut. Oh, oh, we doing something now, y'all. Pues normalmente en el choco no utilizamos la licuadora para esto, rayamos el coco mm -hmm. y supuestamente, no sé, le da como un toque diferente, pero no voy a rayar el coco, es pero mucho trabajo. ¿Un rayador que tenemos? Sí, ah, un rayador okay. que tenemos. So she was saying that they you, you use a grater to do this back in choco, and supposedly it gives, the, uh, it gives it a different flavor, but we're using the blender right now to do it, so hopefully we get the same same taste off of it. Okay. All right, so she put a little bit of water and um, and uh, coconut in the blender. And we're going to blend it. camera off the stand so I can get down in there and show you exactly what's going on with over here. Yeah man, y'all getting a real treat today. And I ain't even charging you. It's right here, it's free. Se parece como algo de National Geographic. National Geographic. Y eso es lo que vamos a utilizar para terminar de hacer el pollo. Okay, so that's what we'll be using to uh, mix into, para mezclar. Pero ahorita. El arroz. El arroz no, eso es para el tollo, el arroz ah, okay, aparte. Ah, okay, see, I'm getting confused. So this is all for the uh, fish, that right there. It won't be mixed into the rice. Okay. Ahorita voy a, está un poco caliente. Está caliente voy a quitar esta, esta piel que cuentas? es, no, que es okay. muy horrible, tosca, fea y sale a tierra. <laughs> y que no se olviden quitarlo y miren. And esta. that right there is the back. So you're just peeling, peeling the toyo and um, taking the skin off. And yeah. You just shred it up. Using the hands. It's a little bit too hot to really Yeah, so she's gonna. 
uh, mash it up with our hands a little bit later once it cools off just a little bit. So I'm gonna uh, let the camera cool down, man. This um that GoPro, this is the GoPro GoPro 10, I think. It gets hot like, really quick. So let me let the camera cool down, connect it, and I'll pick back up once she starts shredding and gets deep into the process. We mashed up all the fish using our hands and fingers. That fish was hot. Mm, no, I don't feel. So now, just gonna squeeze some lime. Tienen que utilizar un exprimidor. Since she needs a thing that the uh like the juice squeezer, and juice extractor. Yeah. It's hard to do it by hand. Okay. I was asking them was it bitter? If it's bitter, that changes the taste. The ones that are green, you don't really have to worry about it. But the yellow ones sometimes they're bitter. But she said it wasn't. So the shark put those into the vegetable mix. And then, just like you see, she's going to stir it up. So once we get to the next step, I'll get back to recording. Okay, next step. Let's put in the coconut water or milk into the mix. Bam. That's the secret right there. Y solo lo vamos a dejar secar un poquito, que vaya cocinando, que como que todos los ingredientes se vayan integrando, ¿no? Okay. Vaya asociando su sabor, todo. Y luego listo, yo solo lo apagamos porque pues ya saben que el pescado estaba prácticamente cocido, estaba bien ahumado. Yeah. Well, fish is already cooked, so she's just gonna cook this down till everything just kind of combines. Okay, and so when everything is absorbed and it's a little, little bit drier, not this wet. Yeah, we'll get ready. Then we'll start, or she'll start. Yeah. Y ahorita vamos a hacer entonces el arroz con coco. Ya, yeah. solo un rato. Vamos a preparar el arroz y puff, ya está hecho. Y ya está hecho. Está hecho. There it is. So, um, yeah, I'm getting ready to uh, I'm ready to do nothing for a minute, but I'm starving. Man, I am hungry. I'm ready to eat. Uh, so, okay. Quiero que pruebes. Ahí sí. Okay. No, no, it's not bien. Uh, Y'all, when I tell you that flavor, it's already there. The flavor is there. Yeah, she got that going, man. She got that going. Hey, y'all come down here. Get you one of them girls from the coast. The girls from the coast know how to get in that kitchen, man, and, and, and whip it up. Las mujeres de la costa saben cómo, saben cómo cocinar. Por supuesto, es una mujer negra. Saben cómo ganar un hombre. Sé cómo cocinar. <ríe> sí, las negras. Bueno, entonces vamos a volver otra vez a licuar el coquito y empezar a hacer el arrocito. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, she's getting ready to uh, clean up a little bit. 
Uh, and she still has a little bit more coconut. So she's getting ready for pad of rice. And once again, man, I'll get back to y'all once we get to that next step. So we ran into a little problem. My bullet gave out, but we had to go back to the big boy, but the big boy doesn't, doesn't uh, blend as well as that little bullet. But either way, we're gonna keep this party pushing. So we extracted a little bit more coconut, um, coconut water, coconut milk. Ya este piscan está listo. You can see our water's been boiled out. All the flavor has been absorbed by the fish. So it's, Si quieren lo pueden dejar secar mucho más. She said, if you want, you can let it dry out or cook it down mm -hmm. a lot more. Esa es la forma original, pero lo voy a dejar dry. un poquito mojadito. And that's the original way to do it, but I like mine with a little bit of, a little bit of moisture. So she gonna make bueno, the way. Bueno, para like hacer it. el arrocito. So to make the para rice. Para que nos quede café <laughs> y no morado. Para que nos quede café, lo que vamos a hacer es so echar another, el agüita. In order for it to come out coffee and um, coffee, like brown and no negro, see? No morado. Okay. Pero si, pero, de esta manera queda café. Normalmente okay. cuando tú lo haces, que pones el agua, pones esa, la, el agua de coco aquí, mm -hmm. le pones el arroz allí mismo mm -hmm. y queda como moradito. Okay, pero so de esta forma es para que quede café. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es dejar, este es como el zumito de, del coco, no solamente el zumito. Que lo dejamos aquí que cocina un poquito y que vaya quemando un poquito mm -hmm. con dos cucharitas de azúcar o una dependiendo como lo queramos. So she was saying she's gonna let this cook down, but normally what they would do is just put the rice in there with the coconut milk and let it cook down till it's brown. But she's gonna add sugar to make it um to make it brown, and it's gonna make it a little bit sweeter too. So right now she's gonna cook down, cook the milk, add in about two tablespoons of sugar and that's what is going to um that's what's going to turn it you know brown like i say typically coconut rice is brown so bam i'm gonna cook that down look at this solo hay que dejar que el vaya secando y vaya quemando y eso se convierte en algo que se llama en el yo cocino esto y más le llamamos con con arroz con con no es es esto que va a formar aquí se llama con con Ah, okay. so, y luego lavamos el arroz y lo incorporamos allí, le echamos un poquito el resto del agua que quedó con el agua con, con coco que queda uh -huh. y lo dejamos secar y listo. Okay. Pero no se llama arroz con coco. No. Sí? Solo que esto que va a formar se llama con coco. Pero ¿por qué con coco? ¿Por qué con coco? No sé. No sé de Pero sabes que es arroz con coco. Arroz como arroz pegado. En no. la República Dominicana dice arroz con coco. Pero el arroz pegado, sí. nosotros le arroz decimos pegado. pegado normal. Ah, ok. Ok. Every country and every culture has some different. I know when I was in the Dominican Republic and they would make like the sticky rice, which she just called it. It was the rice con con. But she's just saying that mixture right there is con con. <laughs> hey, we still got some uh, coconut to mix, so she's like, hey, we got this problem. So we get ready to go with the old blender like I said it doesn't blend as good but we got to get it done so we're getting ready to use that and later on we'll take uh, the bullet by the shop and see if they can fix it because man that bullet like that's that's the number one blender right now on Amazon just whatever so um, this is cooking down and I'll probably leave it on before I mess up them up uh, that's done so she's gonna shred a little bit more of um, coconut Cook it, blah blah blah. So once it's all done and prepared, I'm gonna show y'all what it is. El mito número uno de Choco. No, ella está explicando es una cosa, mira. Este, mira, ya nuestro. El subito del coco, pues ya va secando, ya estaba colocando cafecito, vamos a dejarlo quemar un poquito para incorporar por lo demás. Ok, so she, Pero yo le estaba contando a él que cuando hacíamos caramelo de con coco, pues estábamos más pequeña. Era un proceso similar a esto, pero hay, hay un Pero está hecho con leche de verdad, ¿o no? Es un proceso. Leche de verdad, con poco. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, había un problema que cuando una de las niñas tenía el periodo, no se podía acercar a la olla, no podía mirarlo porque automáticamente se cortaba. Él quedaba en serio. ¿no? So what she's saying, like if one of the youngsters was on her period, she couldn't look at it, she couldn't touch it because it. So, entonces. Entonces, uno hacía un clavito aquí, no, uno clavaba eso. Entonces, put a nail, a nail, como en la pared o en. En la pared, sí. Okay, put a nail, bien, a nail. Y tomaba 
el caramelo lo empezaba a golpear para que él quedara suavecito y quedara blanco porque uh -huh. él queda café pero entonces tantos golpes quedaba blanco pero amor te lo juro cuando alguien tenía el periodo y vi el caramelo automáticamente se cortaba ya era imposible so, hacer que él estirara so you can't make care excuse me not the, si uh, alguien es del chocó not the milk of the um, coconut milk you're talking about making caramel It's something to do with milk, and if you... ¿También si estás embarazada? No. No, solo con tu periodo. Okay. When the young girls are on their period, they can't look at or touch milk because it'll cut it or it'll ruin it. To where it doesn't like... It, ¿No mezcla bien o qué? No mezcla. Automáticamente no. se mm -hmm. corta. Es yeah. una cosa rara. So entonces, siempre make... nos pasaba lo mismo, entonces uno ya preguntaba. Y tiene el periodo y se va. No podía mirarlo. So, supposedly, that's y... what happened. And who am I to tell her that it's a lie? But that's what... You know what I mean? That's what Mira, they believe. Mira, con con. Okay, este, este es aceite, mira el aceite de coco, mira. Todo eso es aceite de coco y esto es el coco. Wow. Para comerlo. Y es así como también sacamos el aceite de coco para el cabello. Wow, so she's saying that's how they make the uh, oil for coconut, like for your hair, for hair products. Este bien. This is like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is coconut oil down in there. Mm -hmm. It came from the coconut oil. Y eso lo llamamos coconut. Down the coconut. Vamos a echarle el coconut. And so that brown color, that's what's going to turn the uh, coconut uh, rice brown. Y ahora sí le podemos echar el arroz y dejar lo que seque y lo cocinamos como un arroz normal. Como un arroz. So she's getting ready to uh, put all this in there, put the rice in there, let it cook down and dry, and bam, you got coconut rice. Hey man, a girl from Choco is like a girl from the country down here. Like they know how to do everything, they're not scared to get dirty. They treat the men good, all that. I mean, they're a little bit spicy. Mmm, poquito picante. <laughs> But yeah, we're supposed to go to Choco sometime in December. So I'm gonna see, you know, how the rest of them are. But what I've seen, man, women from Choco, yeah, they know how to get it done. They, they know how to get it done. So she's just getting ready to put the rice in there. Let it cook down in the coconut and, uh, milk. Oil, whatever it is. I'm gonna show y'all when it get done. All right, all right. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. We done done some now, y'all. We done done some. You saw the fish. You saw the fish when it came, huh? Huh? Bueno, aquí ya tenemos todo listico. Show them what you got, baby. Oh, you see it. You see the color on that rice. Yo le dije que falta un poquito. Yeah, she's saying that it should cook a little bit more, but I already tasted it. And when I tell you it's sweet, it's tender. Mira, oh, este es usted no. con mm. Sí, es como arroz con con That's the bee's knees right there. That's, that's that. That got that flavor. It's, it's chewy. It's caramelized from the sugar and stuff, y'all. She talking about do I want some? Hell yeah, I want it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, she was just telling me too, because I was going to eat it in a bowl. She said, uh-uh. The men have to eat it off a plate. You can't eat it on a bowl. That's what kids do. Shit, my mama raised me right. 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 There you go. Yeah, I saw. Y'all just going down. On a Friday afternoon. I just set my weekend up right. Can I say good morning? You must get you one of them. Uh, one of them chocolates. Y toyo, también con coco. Ya tú lo puedes hacer con coco o sin coco, pero con coco se supone que es más tradicional, ¿no? Eh. Esta es nuestra cultura. Coco. <laughs> Todo lleva coco. Everything is a coco. Coco, coco, coco. So, no, I'm getting ready to eat. Um, look at her, she's already. Look, look, look at that, y'all. Look, look, look. Somebody look at this. Somebody look at that. Let me. Let me. That's it right there. That's it. Hey, Nick, this video is for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later. Gracias, amor. Bye bye. Ciao. See you.